This is one Eid that there should be no ikhtilaf and it's not based on anyone's opinion other than those whom regulate the Hajj. As soon as they call the Hajj, we like it, we don't like it, not our business, Allah gave them the authority and Hujaj begin the movement. On Saturday versus via live TV everyone will see the Hujaj on Arafah. And when they're on Arafah, we've been ordered to fast. That fast and the barakah of that fast is two years of blessings, the year before, the year past to be wiped away. And all of the other haqqaiqs that awliyaullah are teaching that this is the time in which we are asking Allah where we came short, where we fell short and Allah accepting a tremendous ransom. You know when you're held hostage by somebody, somebody has to pay your ransom. When Allah is using this word that we gave a tremendous ransom, in the realities of Sayyidina Ismail means it's the qurban. So these are immensely important realities that the nation shouldn't have ikhtilaf and should be fasting on Saturday. And as soon as we watch via live television, they come down, they begin the process of qurban and then becomes Eid on Sunday. How can you call Eid on Monday and then you're requiring people to fast on Sunday? But they're clearly on live television, they left the mountain. Then the people whom listen to you, they lost the barakah of Arafah. And the whole of Hajj was Arafah, it was not the Eid and your party. The whole of Eid al-Adha was Arafah. And what was to be established on the mountain of Rahmah and the du'a of all the nation that save us, take away calamity, difficulty, sickness, every hindrance, every difficulty, accept this qurban on our behalf as our ransom that free us from the hands of shayateen, spiritual and physical, Ya Rabbi. And grant us towards the access of the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad